Hey, Bartholomew, did you have another level 5 spell before you went to sleep? Yeah. Before we went to sleep? I do not believe I did, no. Okay, well, I'll yeah, say, no. if you want to, I'll take I another just... whole monster spell. I have a 6th level, it. actually. I never used it. I can't, I can't, I wish I could take that, but I can only take up to 5. Uh, unless the DM, unless the DM, uh... 6th level will let me work whole on monster? Which no. One? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay, I can I can still twin. I can it's still just shenanigans twin spell. anyway. So I can still I... twin spell that. Where was I left off yeah. last? <laughs> Good thing I didn't actually do that because I asked that question. Is shade blue for bridge, and you all managed to take down a campsite along the way. Thankfully yeah. enough, you all managed to survive that. But a lot of you, a lot of you weren't feeling so great at the end of that. You all managed to survive, however, and you managed to get whatever equipment they had on them. Some of it was great, others not so great. At the end of things, Shade managed to break what appeared to be a strange mask that had some type of curse upon it. Oh yeah, I. Uh, one I of think you I was grabbed gonna, like, try and wear the it. man's uh, necrotic blade, but I'm not sure exactly who. We're still level eleven, right? You are. Okay, just making sure. Let me make sure I miss it. Mm -hmm. That being said, you all decided to take a long rest as you weren't exactly fit for combat or going back to a war zone. So you hey, found that. Out. So you found that uh, abandoned house. You assume no one has returned yet, and you've been taking shifts. No one has returned back to it. Maybe you just got lucky, or maybe the person died or got killed. Who really knows? And it doesn't really need to be brought up. <laughs> you all rested, and Lily Lillian decided to form her own hut. I believe it was like some magnificent mansion spell, but I don't quite remember. I think it was, oh, I think I it was Liam. And... I decided not to. Oh, um, well, oh. there goes my joke. Let me delete that house. <laughs> oh, it was going to be like a bouncy castle or something? I uh, know. It was just going to be like a random small house that whoever went outside <laughs> first saw it. Really doesn't matter. Uh, so y'all rested inside the house, and this is where you start off. The one person that they didn't rest inside the house was Star, but she just slept on the roof. She didn't exactly go too far. And this is where you start, after killing what appeared to be the big bad, but not quite sure if they were. We, like, kind of, like their bodies or at least like looked at their bodies right to like confirm like stuff or no we didn't well half of them fell off the bridge so that's kind yeah. of easier said than done a good amount of them were, <laughs> did fall off the bridge and you did loot the yeah, bodies I don't that know you how could that find happened. you weren't able to find two people and those two people were the people that jumped off of the yeah we saw them go though yes right yeah it's possible they won't be back though we looked at the person who we thought was the leader of that area. Yes, we looked at him. Looking at him, you did find his equipment, and all of that still remained. However, Lan was the only one to discern that the body was slowly liquefying in an almost near perceptible form if he didn't roll so well. So, just so uh, everybody... Real quick, so everyone has plus 16 to their health as we wake up and have breakfast tonight. Tell everyone I, I uh, appreciate all their hard work and everyone fought well yesterday and I'm glad we're all alive. Uh, but anyway, so even shade, everyone has a plus 16. Uh, and then uh, Bartholomew, me, and uh, uh, yeah, Lillian have uh, an extra plus 10 on top of that as well. Is that? Okay? That's maximum HP, right? Not not temporary. Yeah, that's ac that's actually max. I just put it down as temporary because I would remember easier. Mm. Just so in case it got taken away by some means, I would just get rid of it easier. Okay. All right. Uh, this is where you wake up. It's up to you to decide what to do next. You know that there's a fight currently happening. A few good miles away out of your destination, you were teleported to the site. 
but you still need to get down the mountain, which isn't impossible to do. Um, Aster did make mention once you were out of the mountains, you could make contact. All right, so I guess we just use our horse talismans and uh, just start running down. You think that's the plan? Makes sense to me. Sure. Um, do we have any idea as what we're going into at all? How long it's going to take till we get there? You know, it, it took you a good hour uh, to two hours to get here. And that was when so, you were being stealthy. So like 30 minutes, maybe 15 if you really... Uh, no, it's just constant speed, so it'd be 30 minutes. Arthomia, you don't have to. I'm just curious. Are you giving me that spell? Because if not, I was going to put other spells in it. I mean, right now, I mean, sure, if you want to. You, you don't have to if you don't want to. Because it's a fifth level spell. It's up to you. I'll take it. Oh, you can that, double it, right? So it's actually better in your hands anyway. Yeah, I can twin it. Yeah, so I'll just cast whole okay. monster in, into your thingy. I'm like, here, take this. Thank you. And you're like, thank you. It goes in there. Thank you. My ring is full of... <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, well, right. if, anybody, if anybody comes, I'll try and twin it on it. So that'll be nice. Gracias. At this point, Aster does get up from his corner. Uh, he was really actually just sleeping in the bathtub. <sighs> All right, how did anyone else sleep? Well, I actually had the bed, I, apparently, so I slept pretty well. I slept well. I don't know, where did I sleep? You let the girl sleep, sleep on the floor. Apparently, you, the you slept on the, on the floor. front of the bed like a dog. <laughs> Uh, I'm like, I guess I'm like... If this know. map is to be believed anyway, I mean, however you guys want. You know we cuddled last night, so, you know, I like where I'm like, sub for so don't be coy. Don't or deny that statement. <laughs> land, land wings and like, walks away. Puts you hear arm. something the like, had to do for a hit bed. the roof and then hit the roof again. Uh, you remember Star went up there last night? Hey Star, everything good with you? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry, what the hell are you doing? Yes. <laughs> are you alright up there? Oh, uh, yeah, I rolled over. Oh. Well, that's good. Thing. Tell uh, me where you can see a crater um, of snow in that direction. It doesn't kill her, but it <laughs> would have hurt someone that was underneath her. Nice landing. Uh, more or less. Uh, she does crack her back. So, are we heading out? Yep, I think so. We should do so. If we can get word of our victory to our allies, it could help demoralize the opposing army. Yeah. Uh, Aster does state, I can send a message spell, but it's I only have one day. We well, we should other... tell him about what we should let him know what we've done. We have done, and that we're on our way. I thought she gave us a mean of contacting her so we she can teleport us back. It... Yes, the message spell. All right, so we need to get to the bottom of the mountain. Unfortunately, she can't triangulate this location. Apparently, the spell was brought to us by AT and T, so we have to go down out of the mountains. Yes, I was asking, is the bottom of this mountain or further is our destination? Uh, bottom. Or we could go further into mountains and see if there's a clearing. Alright. Um, I guess I'll take out my horse talisman, give it a, a toss, and activate it, and make a giant chocobo oh, appear. <laughs> I mean, really, they can be phantasmal for <laughs> all you care, but you can make them themed. Uh, start just gives Lillian hers. Uh, here, you can have this if you want. I technically don't need it. What'd she give, yeah. what'd she give Lillian? It's a talisman, talisman of the horse. It, the group got them a while ago. Um, basically, they create phantasmal horses. They don't actually need to be horses, like Kelmore stated. Uh, but the creature isn't real. It's just a phantasmal image that allows you to ride it. 
Aster, do you need a ride with someone? Uh, no. I'm actually pretty quick on my own. Alright, everyone. If we're all ready to get going. Yep. I'm ready. Um, Let's go. go. Alright. Uh, 220. Already rolled that one. Rolling again. Okay. You all make it down to the mountain without an issue. I mean, honestly, <laughs> the main issue that you likely would have had is probably dead. Uh, and at the end, of, well, before you head out and at the end of your little resting period, do one of you check the bodies at the very last second? Definitely. We definitely would have checked them if you hadn't done it. Oh. Okay. I would not go with them because that is their problem. I, I'm just angry that the mask work for unknown reasons. <laughs> unknown reasons, yes. Yeah, so somehow that just it just isn't working for me. Okay. Um. Well, cool. at the end of the night, this guy seemed to have well, going back. The last uh, watch was stars. The man uh, was surprisingly enough not dead. Uh, she went over towards him. Uh, he seemed to be squirming and somehow managed to lodge himself out of his little ropes and then began to run. Unfortunately, though, he had Star watching over his body. Uh, taking note of this, he looks up and then simply states, I don't suppose you'll let me go? No, not really. Um, I could probably tell you some things if you let me go. You see, the thing is, I don't really care. I mean, those guys might... Uh, hmm. How about this? Let's say you survive my wounds that I inflict on you. Uh, <laughs> try to run as far as you can. They'll probably chase you once they wake up, but in the meantime, that'll at least give you a chance. Is that really a good thing to do? Yeah, see, here's the thing. I'm not exactly a good person. As you check the bodies, you do see that there is no one there that had remained alive. You do see a trail of blood heading towards the no uh, northeast direction. Uh, I would definitely be following that. No survivors. I guess I'll follow as well. Okay. I guess I will as well. I'm not. Uh, I'm not there. Whose blood trail is this again? Uh, well, like out of game, you know, it's the man that Star <laughs> heavily wounded. Uh, is this was Lieutenant. But in game, it is uh, the man that it should have been moved to the token layer now. Yes. A necrotic sword building guy. So, as you may manage to make towards his direction, you do see that you eventually find him. He is in a very large body of water, and unfortunately, it was the middle of the night. He was heavily wounded, and he rolled a two. Even with his modifier, he was not unable to move away from the direction of the ice cracking around him. In cruel nature, but it's pretty easy to discern what happened. He fell into the pool and his blood began to spread. Around you, you do see that the area that was broken in has a small layer of, of crystallized blood on top. Well, he froze to death, it looks like. I guess there's nothing we need to do here. Uh, Star looks at him and goes, huh. Well, he didn't get that far. Mm-hmm. Uh, is he, like, is his body within reach? His body is within, uh, reach. You can, like, break the small layer of ice that formed. I just want to make sure he's actually dead this time. Uh, you grab his body and you can tell that there is a small, if very insignificant, life in it. Um, if you wake him up, even if you heal him, his wounds are seriously... Uh, if you have greater restoration, be, 
that might be the only chance of him surviving it. No, I was just gonna slit his throat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay that's. Stab him. I mean, he's not a great guy. In fact, he's technically considered evil. I'm, I'm a professional assassin. I have no qualms about doing this. That's fair. He'll punch. kill you, but he'll be professional about it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, no, it's. I'm not mutilating the body. I'm, you know, slicing his head off. Nice and cool. Yeah, he's not an animal. <laughs> With a quick thrust, you managed to take him down. Uh, Star politely uncovers a large mass of snow and then goes, Well, if we leave him out here, animals are probably going to come attack anyone that's around. Uh, Burial is probably the best thing we should do. Burn it, burn it, burn it. I'm not there, so that technically didn't happen. <laughs> or I can burn it. She would also have those thoughts. Yay. <laughs> Just mm. burn it. I don't see a reason to bury this dude. Also, he seems him. hard to kill, so let's make sure he's really, really, really gone. Yeah, that's fair. And with necrotic abilities, he probably could come back to life. Mm. With a quick wave of her hand, you can tell that she's using a cran that cantrip and begins to just Bartholomew. <laughs> burn in holy radiant light on his body until it is completely gone. At that point, Bartholomew probably joins up with the team. What's taking so long? Oh, no. I said I was going to go down to the meetup point. Oh, okay. Uh... That's what I meant anyway. I don't know if I actually said that. but uh, Then like 15 but... minutes later, the rest of the team meets you up. What's up? I saw smoke. Did you burn something? Just a body. Uh, body? Oh, and I wasn't invited. Uh, Sorry. We can find the other one. I mean, the one that had the former mask on, it's kind of squishy. Yeah, but we know he's dead. It's not as fun. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Aster then states, Right, so we heading out? Or are we gonna hunt more people? He seems concerned for a werewolf. Well, let's just head out. Mm. Can't imagine why. <laughs> uh, you do hear Aster making the call, and then you hear his uh, boss and states, All right, seems that you're good. Good. Unfortunately, things kind of got bad in the front line, so I need to get you here and inform me as immediately as possible. Are there any surrounding environment around you, or are you good to go? Uh, everything is fine. We should be fine. Right. Then immediately you see a circle beneath you bind in and basically hover whatever's around you. The main reason you couldn't do this in the mountains, because it would take a large body of mass if you were still in there. But thankfully enough, you went. Oops, that's the wrong one. A few seconds later, you do manage to get back to the area and walk inside the tent. You did pick up a few rocks, bushes, and trees here and there, but not enough to <laughs> destroy the area. Why are we carrying these? <laughs> mm. uh, but you make it back to the tent and Aster informs her about the situation and Blake goes, all right, that takes care of that. Thankfully enough, our scouts were able to find that location. Which is good. The only problem is the scouts in the front lines have told us that, unfortunately, the first wave of attackers weren't the last wave, which is great. And so here's the current situation in the front. Right now we have a group that's more or less one eighth of theirs, which isn't so bad. I mean, their numbers but not numbers we couldn't take. Unfortunately, then they brought in new players to the game, some giant creatures and some giants with themselves. I need more men out there. And you did say you were fine? I mean, obviously I'm going too, but I can't unfortunately take down a whole... Well, I probably could, but that would be sacrificing my men. And I'd rather not do that. Yeah. Why not? Give, Sounds awesome. Give us double and we'll we'll go. 
Lan kind of smiles. He's like, just kidding. Let's go. Right, good. Because <laughs> I don't think I was actually paying you. I, I would have just said like, oh yeah, sure. Yeah, double the pay. That's fine. Double, double and nothing. You know what? Double. Have triple the pay. <laughs> yeah, double and nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's go. <laughs> so. Ah, you know what? I'm in a good mood. Have quadruple. Anyway. Bartholomew, you are. So thank you. I'll take it. I, as you can tell, some of my companions are a bit on the more insane side a lot of the time. Calmore, stop describing yourself to people if they don't ask you about you. I prefer to think of myself as differently minded. No, I'm pretty crazy. I think you're. You make, you make complete sense to me. Where are we? Um, if your Which screen is blank, let on? me know, because sometimes the effects do that. It is, it is not blank. It's just laggy. Oh, uh, yeah. It's all laggy on my side, too. So that is roll 20. Great. Oh, 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 it's better now. Yeah. Nah, well, it it the depends on how many tokens are on screen, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Before, or like, as we arrive, bottom, Ian, by the way. If, if you'll allow... Before we go right into battle, I guess, since we know we're riding into battle, like uh, a moment or two before we head to engage, I'm going to cast a spell, if that's okay, on myself. What spell? And the. Uh, I'm going to cast Power Armored Word Agathus oh. on myself. <laughs> on the moment before the, uh, we start fighting, I also be casting a spell on myself. But I'm not, I'm not casting as a. Whatever level, what is that level anyway? I think it's a first it is level yeah. one. First level, I'm, I'm casting it, casting it at the fourth level. So that would be five, fifteen, 20. twenty. So twenty more HP. <laughs> Actually, I'm casting two spells at one right now. Uh, what do you mean? I'll allow you to do one, but casting two it depends on what, what type you, of spells. What are you casting to get more HP? I am casting uh, four Armor of Agathis. Oh. It's not really more HP, it's just, uh, armor HP. <laughs> I'm casting oh, yeah. Fortune's Favor and then Blur, right? Fortune's Favor is first now, and then Blur once before the battle starts. Before we start battle. Oh, okay. Uh, that shouldn't be an issue based on this. And I can, uh, I, I, can I bonus action when I cast that spell too? Can I use a bonus action or no? Uh, no. You can say you cast it okay. before the fight, like before you enter into fight. That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay. I'm just checking. I'm good. As you enter into the area, you do see a massive amount of catapults. People are homing in and attacking the other side. You can see crossbow bolts as well. However, the other side has a massive amount of numbers on them. You do see some familiar faces, but really, those are just tokens I picked out at random. So you just ignore them. The main ones, however, you do hone in on are the giants in the area. Two stone giants. You wouldn't giants. happen to have a triplet. No. <laughs> A massive giant with gray skin and red hair, a giant scorpion, and another and a giant centipede. Behind okay. him oh, stands I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hate myself before we get in this fight, unless someone else is doing it. Sounds like enough. You can hate yourself. That's fine. And can can you upcast it? Haste? Can you upcast haste to other? Keep going on. I'm I'm just clicking on the spell. See if you can. I don't, I, don't think you can. I don't Maybe. I don't know. I don't think you can. I can twin spell that as well. What other spell can you concentrate on? That'd be helpful to the rest of us. Is it me? Yes. Lilia. I? No. That many spells. I'm, I'm not a real. I'm not a full caster. I know, I'm just curious, like, if, you know, if you have, like, fairy fire, thing, even low level spells, you have. I do have fairy fire. That would be an amazing spell to have. Especially but are they all bunched I'm... together? Even if you're getting, like, one or two people, you can keep recasting it if you give us all advantage on attacks. I don't know if you have a bonus I don't action. have that many spell slots, man. 
Oh, okay. Well, you do. Yeah, you do. You're just trying to strategize. But, uh, yeah. You go ahead and haste yourself. It's probably not the best idea. Alright, here's how yeah. this is going to work. Um, each of you will have an action you can do before entering combat, but the combat will happen regardless of what you do. Unfortunately, Good. there's too many people here that I can't... Uh, what's it called? Keep track of everyone fighting in a proper fashion. So whichever area you enter in, there will be conflict, there will be consequences. However, we will go in a narrative sense of who goes first on turn order. So are the catapults and mounted crossbows, I'm assuming those are ballistae actually, are they like fully manned? You can man them yourselves, but on your side, they are just barely manned. It does take them more time to cast any bolts or ballista. My dumbass was about to correct you on that. It's like, oh, actually, you don't cast on arrow. And then I was like, oh, wait, no. That is proper English. What am I talking about? <laughs> and is this a trench down here? or what is It that? is a trench. Okay. So we need to stay here and shoot them with these things. Now we're not really going to be able to get into combat. Are we? That is entirely up to you. Uh, I noticed oh, this one's unmanned, so... It's a long, it's a long so way. Like go on that one. That's a long ways away. <laughs> Dash. Well... You do you, the area will take effect on its own. However, it is now going to be turn order. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, blue. however... Uh, it's blanking on friends, it. Right? Uh, Lillian, are you going to roll for your turn order? Yes. I don't wanna. I choose to go in a turn in an order beyond comprehension. I have um advantage on initiative, so I have seventeen. That's actually a setting. What? Uh, there's a setting in the gear. I believe it was a gear anyway. Yeah, yeah. If you go to initiative style, uh, normal advantage, disadvantage. I play a barbarian, that's how I know. I used to also, play a barbarian anyway, uh, now, now obviously. I don't, I don't know what's going to be happening, but if you guys stay within 10 feet of me, you're going to get a, a plus 5 to all your saves, so. Um, yeah, there's that. I'm thinking there's something someone to keep in mind. dexterous should probably take that, that ballista. Um, Bartholomew, I mean, you are up first. I am up first. Uh, I'm not particularly dexterous, though. That's why I said that. Uh. You play your horse, well, I... huh? <laughs> uh, hmm. I might fire a... Help load a catapult and fire it at uh, one of the bigger targets, like the giant, maybe. All right. I am going to get rid of this fog, because now it is distracting me. I did not know there was supposed to be fog. I thought that was just my computer being on the fritz. Eh. Alright, anyway. So, yeah, I will move Ooh, uh, here and help load up this catapult, I guess. Since my magic is way too close range, at least, you know, in terms of how big this land is, to be of any use right now. So, I'm just going to do that. I um, think I'll fire... Actually, no, I'd have to centipede because, you know, nothing should have a hundred legs. It's wrong. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oops. That is not boss music. Anything that's talking. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I can seduce the boss if you really want me to. All right, go ahead and take aim with the ballista. You can roll with your strength, but with the ballista's own sturdiness, you get an additional plus five. Oh, is that a ballista or is that a catapult? Oh wait, 
Uh, oh, that is a catapult. Sorry. I mean, I think I'm guessing it's similar, right? Yes. All right. What would the roll be for that one? It would be a athletics check, but you would get a plus five due to the help and its own sturdiness. All right. I'm just gonna roll my athletics and just add five to whatever it rolls. Uh, twenty-one. You go over to it, and then the person next to you then goes, "Oh, you made it to." Uh, oh wait, she didn't talk with you. She talked with Lan. Uh, oh great, you came to help. She then loads up the next rock. You can tell she's molding earth and post placing it in. You take aim, look straight at it, and shoot. Massive rock then aims straight for the cat. <laughs> Let's say caterpillar. Centipede and smashes into its side, dealing 2d20 points of damage. 2d20 coming right up. Or, oh, okay. And that's just. Okay. No. I mean, you can take that roll if you want, but uh, I was just showing you what to do. Okay. I'll, I'll just. Alright, 2d20. <laughs> maybe I should have taken that roll. Um... Uh, maybe. You aim yeah. straight towards it, and you break two of its legs. Uh, she congratulates you. Great job. <sighs> we could really use the help right now. Yeah, unfortunately, we need 98 more of those. Yeah. Land. That's still 50 rocks. I mean, you know, it should only eat about uh, most of our troops by then. You so... know, uh, Land, that everyone with uh, the armbands with blue are on your side, mainly because they all have blue circles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so please don't shoot them. I mean, you can yeah, if you I'll want. Just go, just don't. I'll go. Does this, uh, does this one look like it's been manned over here? Right you can't tell it's manned, and it has enough strength that it is not slowing down due to any impediment. What about this one? That one's okay, too? Uh, yes. And this one? No, that one is not. Uh, they're okay. slow, and it will take them two turns to load up a rock. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, well, if I get there, I guess I can use my whole action to get there and uh, help out. Next. Can't really do anything else. I don't think. Um. Yeah. I'll go. Yeah. Yeah. I finally got to right see the whole map. It is a very Sorry, large map. Yeah. Well, I can see the important parts. Okay. I did move a bunch of menus and stuff. Okay, I guess I'll just dash over there. And then, uh... If I get there, I mean, I, if I get there, I'll have, all, like, I have to use all my actions and bonus actions and stuff. Um, oh, before I left, actually, I'll just do this then. Before I left, I used my bonus action. I pulled a prayer bead from my neck and cast uh, Bless at the first level from the prayer bead. Or, yeah, it's just the first level Bless. And that Bless was on self. Uh, I guess Kelmore and... Uh, you should do Lolly no since I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be on. He's on a catapult, isn't he? I yeah, was gonna actually see, go fight. Like, Frank, you're gonna go fight? Okay. I'll bless Lillian and um, Bartholomew and myself, I guess. Alright. Okay. And then I'd use my action to go over here, so that's everything I've done. You make way towards the head of hole and you are able to get there. However, the woman. Uh, sorry, I'm zo so zoomed out, I can not really tell if it's a woman. Uh, nope, I was wrong. They're both men. Looking towards you, the unicorn man looks and then states, Oh, thank you for the help. Do you mind getting a little closer? I'm, uh, working on that. <laughs> uh, you then hear the man next to him. Here, let me help you out. He casts out what appears to be a giant whipped vine wrapped <laughs> around you. Um, if I'm you like resist... Running, like really slow. No. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, you are gonna take one d four. You take one. Oh, uh, okay. He's getting on melee. And he does get you in. Okay. 
Oh, one damage? Yeah, just one damage. Wait, what did they do to him? Uh, basically, they cast uh, Thorn Whip on him and dragged him in. Cool, man. Right. But they weren't actually okay. trying to attack him, so I did the minimal right. amount of damage. They dragged him into where? Towards them. Really? Towards them to help out. I'm helping them. Okay. Cool. Okay, where's the paladin right now? Uh, way, uh, way away. away from you. He yeah. was the last one to t take action. I will zoom ping you, but it'll I'm dislocate wherever you're looking at now. Okay, he's slowing. Okay, wait, are we are we using the catapults or are we like going in close? Some of you well, using catapults, so you're getting close. Is the paladin I, going in close? No. I was going to. I was going to. I'm just started there because I man, I thought I might as well help them fire for a round and then look. I can't really okay. get there. How far is that? Anyway. How far is the paladin from me? Yeah, you want to move up to the left and come with me? That'd be a good idea. We can all move up and together. How far left. is the paladin from me? Uh, currently. 80 feet. Yes. I can do that at one. I can, wait. If you're if you're hasted, if you're hasted, then uh, your movement will be up. Further. Oh, that's right. I, I have my broom, so that gets that's easily gets there. Um, hasted yeah, would not burn. affect the broom. Yeah. What? Yeah, it affects you specifically. Oh. But yeah, I think you can fly, can't you? What? You know what? Why not? I can fly. So, but that still doesn't give me any faster movement. I don't think does yeah. it. Yeah. No. No. I mean, you can just hold the broom with you, and then I guess when you get there, you can get on there. Or I could just dash. Yeah, yeah well, I know. I mean, like, you have to, like, get off and, like, run there, and then when you get there, I you can just, just dash on, on the broom. How about that? It works. Yeah, you can use your hasted action to dash and still have your regular action left over, so. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Is anyone within well, 90 feet of me? I think just I about am. everyone is within 90 feet of you. Bad guys. Uh, no. Oh. They've been able to hold the line, but they are stuck at the line. Wait. The closest one would probably be the one that just pinged at 100 feet away. Wait a sec. I think I have a longer range on this. I need... The enemies are very far away right now. Yeah, uh, since you're taking your time, I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Everyone else, take two minutes as well. I'm gonna have a drink. Mm. <sighs> I'm smoke. Man, I would totally smoke a bowl right what now. What does long I'm range do? How's it gives you disadvantage. Oh, it does? Yeah. But if you can get disadvantage, I mean, if you can get advantage, then negates it. You can somehow get advantage. I don't think I can, but I can hit them to three to three hundred feet. I was right. With long range. You no, know, we. You know, we should do like. The, I don't know if the DM is gonna target us directly, but everyone, after you guys are done with your turn, just tell the DM you lay down. <laughs> if they target us, they'll have disadvantage. We were just like, wow. We helped for a little bit, we just like lay down, we, like we worked really hard, then we like six seconds and then we lay down. I mean I guess it depends on if they work. like do arrow volleys or something that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't know. Impossible to know, but I was like I, <laughs> I was just thinking I think they're just big monsters though, so I don't think that's gonna They just have the big monsters but they also have like I think he's gonna me make us do front. saves. That's why I was like, maybe we should stay close to me. But then I was like, well, we have to operate the catapults, I guess. So whatever. I mean, I'm I operating this one do. until they get closer. Then I'll just mass suggestion yeah. them to our side, where they'll be handily led into prison cells, like POW oh, yeah, camps. Yeah. I'm gonna cast the spell slow whenever they get within 120 feet, so I'll slow them down. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, the only thing with mass suggestion is that I, they have to be within 60, so. Yeah. I wish, like, I thought Synaptic Static gave it to be 6 minus on all saves, but it's just con saves. Too bad. But isn't it all? 
Or is it your nah. man? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's... That's just a spell. Uh, for me, it says subtract the d6 from all of its attack rolls, ability checks, and con saves to maintain in concentration. So. Yeah, con saves and main concentration. So actually, it does, you don't get. They don't. They're, their saves aren't affected at all. It's just a check. Okay, so uh, that's also how yours is different from mine. No, it's the same. I'm not. It's, it's the same. I'm not saying mine's different at all. I'm just saying, like, that's what. So That's what I'm, I'm when I'm next to you, my con saving throw is plus 15. Yeah. All your saves are plus 5. And then you also have bless on you, so you actually have a plus 6 all your saves if you're next to you. That's base. You could have up to plus 9. Yeah. Plus Dude, nine. when this character gets to level 20, it'll be amazing because I will have a stupid save because if I have all my stuff on, I get a another plus 6. To all my I saves. I talk to DM just... Somehow, if we get to high level, that he'll let me get something to extend my aura to help everybody, because that would be nice. Well, I'm saying Artificer has a level 20 feature where they can like do six items and yeah. then get plus one to AC for every. Hmm. It's plus one to AC for every item. Oh, so bad. Have you decided? Sweet, sweet. Yeah, what are you doing? Lillian, Lillian what, are what are you doing? Um, blowing, blowing us up, buddy. Let's go. I'm gonna go prone and then um. Oh, I don't really, do I need to go prone since I'm a I'm small? Like, yes. Okay. Then it's I'm gonna light. Yeah. Then I'm gonna yeah, lightning launcher. Can you tar? What's the nearest bad guy? Like, which can you click on the map? 150 feet away. This is probably your closest bet. I think he's about 150 feet away, to be honest. From What's you, this? He's 135. What's this? A flag. A flag. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna use long range on my lightning launcher. So, do two of those hit? Uh, two of those would hit. Oh, wait, um... You said long range. Does that give any type of disadvantage? I, it is that's why I said. That's why both. Yeah. Know. That's why uh, I have it. My lowest to 24 and... <coughs> 24, oh, 16, and 17. 17. Oh, and I have Blast, too. Uh, yep. Let's see. That's a, that a D4. Yeah, that would all hit with the Bless. Nice. Bless for the win, baby. Fuck <laughs> that guy specifically. Go ahead and roll damage. Lillian, are you there? Maybe a 25, a 22, and a 20. Yeah, those are yeah, all hit. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> oh, somebody's dead. <laughs> Might be. Twenty-nine damage. Aiming straight towards the man, you do see that he is cindered and he is singed. But you do see that he is close to death's door. However, he does get back up, and behind him, the strange creature behind him. You assume it's a tiefling, but he has dark wings and a strange miasma around him. Claps onto his side, and you see the wounds being burnt, closed. Wait, wait, what's going on? Repeat that. Uh, demonic way of healing. Oh. He's hot cauterizing the wound with demonic flame. Uh, to be specific, it's healing word, but demonic form. Uh, he was down to like maybe a handful of HP, which was enough for his teammates to help him out. <coughs> but he's not doing so great. Ace is plus two to AC, right? I believe so. Um, AC is 25. Nice. Uh, anything else? Besides going prone, that's it. That's my move. That's, well, that's my haste action. Wait. I think um, wait, I used my haste move. action, didn't I? Yeah, you dashed with it. Okay, then I only have two of those decks. 
Okay, uh... Yeah, he wouldn't do it if it was just that much damage. Uh, forget what I said. He does get hurt, but he doesn't seem to be close to death. Shade. Okay. Um, now, for getting across this trench, I see ladders going up, but to get down into it, do you just... Is it just like a like you just hop down and it's no issue, or is it like a you have to go around somewhere? Or? Like if you weren't paying attention to the trenches, it'd be an issue, but you can just jump down. Okay. All right, jump over. You can. All right, let's, let's see here. You're like super fast and dex, too. Fucking run and jump. All right, You're that's like one speed. My like a normal jump. <laughs> old dash. And then... Go ahead and roll acrobatics. Acrobatics, okay. I uh, only rolled a 10. It's fine, it's like a 10 foot gap. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I will... Let's see here, I think Step of the Wind is... my thing. I'm trying to find how many key points Step of the Wind. I think Step of the Wind is one key point, and I can dash again as my bonus action. Uh, so I will move all the way up there. And that was my action, movement, and bonus action. So I am done. <laughs> In one go, one of your teammates manages to get to the front lines. Whether that's a mistake or not, we will see you on their next turn. Mm-hmm. Kelmore. All right, finally. Um, all these catapult catapults, are they all armed and fully staffed? All of them seem now, thanks to your companions, fully armed and staffed. They don't have to wait until uh, another turn to launch again. I may regret this, but I'll ask Star. Hey, Star, can you help me get over more quickly? Yes, but you're probably not gonna like it. Probably what? Probably not gonna like it. I may as well take the risk because it's gonna take me forever to get there. Yeah, see the thing, uh, you know, with the whole mist and the fighting going on, there was supposed to be mist, but I deleted it. I can't exactly use my light teleporting thing, but I can teleport you on top of one of the catapults, and then you ask them politely to throw you. <laughs> I like uh, that maybe idea. I maybe I should have blessed him. You know what? Um, how much did do it. Oh, I'm going do to regret it. this. Do it. 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 Yeah. it. Can you put me on the one over here? Put him on mine. <laughs> I'll help him. You have already fired. No, no, I haven't fired yet. They haven't Each. fired yet. Oh, that's right. It was the other one. I'm, I'm going to put the one right here. Okay. All right. That's enough distance that I shouldn't be an issue with this. She snaps her fingers, and immediately you turn into what appears to be light particles, and then just sink into the little cup where a rock should be. Uh, the woman underneath you and the man are surprised, but the woman with the staff that was next to you and then moved over uh, states, Oh man, you, you stole my idea! I'm assuming you're gonna jump. I'm Come gonna where I look at you, I'm like, are you sure about this? Oh, no, you don't want me to do it. What do you mean by No, my, my, as a player, I'm like, fuck yeah, you should definitely do it. As my character, I'm like, um, are well, you sure, buddy? I this is not like don't ask him now, he might have second thoughts. <laughs> I thought um, well, I'm not gonna, if he uh, tries to get off, I'm gonna fire it. Yeah, she, I wasn't gonna let him get off. <laughs> she states, Too late. <laughs> uh, you know, jump, get on the catapult, <laughs> and then we launch you out. I thought I was already on the catapult. Yeah, he is. That's why I'm rhetorically asking if you're going to do it. Oh, yes. All right, the range of the catapult is roughly 300 feet. 
you just tell my guys where you want to go and you'll get there. You'll probably sustain like some damage. As long as they don't miss, okay. you should be fine. Right. Um, I hop on there. I can I hop on there. Uh, uh on your I, turn. I, can he pull me? Uh, can he just pull me up there with him, sort of like a double torpedo. Unfortunately, he's not on yours. <laughs> oh, I thought I he came to mine. I'm sorry. I want to go to right, right here on this magic-looking guy right here. Uh, all right. Uh, luckily enough, we're now fully manned because I'm not going over there. So she takes aim and then she tells her men, all right, on your mark, get set. Oh, there's one thing I would like to do, DM, and I'm being fired. I like to take out my blade, point it towards it, and I'll yell out to wherever she is, Kass, and I'll say, hey, yippee ki yay motherfuckers! Let's get this party started! And she's I'll like 20 feet away from fire. you. I'm yelling it out loud! I know, but she's like 20 feet away from you. So it's Zero really yelling to me. I and mean, it's have... great. Start collapsed for you, but Cass is just confused. Uh, but they do fire. Let's see, that's plus seven. Uh, that is not enough, unfortunately, to aim and hit him without sustaining damage, so you are going to sustain some. So it's only uh, reduced down because they didn't completely screw up. Uh, 5d6. So it's only 19 points of damage, uh, bludgeoning. If you can reduce that, you're more than welcome to. But you... <laughs> You hold on and you stand firm. You, thinking this would look cool, and because it actually does look cool, stand up and then just get catapulted out. For a while, it does look amazing, but then you realize that standing while landing is probably not the best idea. Unfortunately, the rock smashes in, dealing some damage to the area, but you just barely land in front of the man. Uh, DM, I couldn't quite understand what you were saying in regards to um, my comment about yelling it out, yelling out out loud, yippee ki -yay, motherfuckers, let's get this party started. Oh, because quite... you said you were looking t looking for Cass and then just shouting it out. Uh, what I was trying to do was sort of, uh, I kind of thought that my character had a, like a a budgeting friendship with her and I was trying to do the whole um, buddy Wait, action me? move as so I was trying to get her attention by yelling out loud and showing off a little bit of what I was going to do oh okay uh, then she would have taken it differently if you had the proper uh, way of doing it I'll just say you did uh, she seems excited <laughs> Uh, for a while there, she was confused why you were yelling, but clearly you were yelling for the team to be ro roared up. So she begins to... Sh she doesn't shout, unfortunately, but she does aim and take... Aim towards you, casts the rock on fire to make you look cooler, which I will then increase the damage associated with the area. And it smashes in, and then the rest of the stuff I said happens. You land in front of them. Uh, dealing 19 right. points of damage to yourself and to the environment 30 feet around you. 30 feet? I've already done the damage to myself. It would have reduced. Yeah, it would have been like 10 feet, really, but because Cass set the rock on fire, it just went further. You should people's elbow the guy you're attacking. There we go. People's elbow? Nah, uh, I, I think it'd be the, more akin to a, a Macho Man Savage elbow, wouldn't it? If I rolled a 15, maybe he could have done it, but I rolled a 13. I landed in front of him. I didn't yeah. have the range to do it. I was yeah, if you had landed on him, you could have just people know his ass. I, I put a friend for invented character. They basically would just teleport above someone and then drop on them and give them a the people's elbow. That was their whole character. Nice. Uh, Kelmore, you, you still technically have your entire turn. It's exactly like a character I would make. <laughs> and I'm really glad to have it. Now, this person in front of me he looks like a dark elf wielding magic. Who else is in my immediate vicinity? In your immediate vicinity seems to be a giant were rat that stands at eight feet tall, which is rare for both rats people and were rat people. So, we're not exactly sure what this thing should be. Standing behind you at the left flank seems to be a woman with 
uh, auburn hair, casting what appears to be a strange, uh, fiery like gaze upon herself. Uh, to your left seems to be a humanoid male with silver tipped hair. Uh, old for his age, but doesn't seem to be anything more than a paladin at best. At the person right in front of me is... Uh, hey, I resent that. Between the game. Take that back. You're more than just paladin. <laughs> oh, but the man in front of you does stand in front. Uh, tall, he does seem, does seem to be a dark elf, but something else is strange about him. Uh, he does hold a strange warping orb surrounding him. That seems to be pitch black and kind of moves the air around him. All right, all right. Uh, currently, um, taking a potion is a bonus action for you? Yes. As long as you're all just right. administering it to yourself. I might take it later, the potion of growth. Um, instead, I will use my bonus action to shield smash this dude to make him proud. Finally, it will for you. Uh, Not one. Okay, since you didn't try to show off to this guy, it will probably work. Uh, what type of roll? Acrobatics or athletics against my athletics. Okay, thankfully you know strength. he's not great uh, in strength or any uh, dexterity, but we'll see. Not Gosh, 20. That is not <laughs> the proper dice. It's like, what kind of a role-playing game you playing? We're playing Dungeons and Dragons, man. Oh, sorry, my bad. I was playing Shadowrun. <sighs> yeah, common 15. mistake. So he's prone at the moment, if that matters. As you land in front of him, you bring out your shield and you smash <sighs> in. Causing him to land on... He gives it advantage on attack. Nice for you. Does it? 24 hit. 13 slash <clears throat> and fire, and I will, uh, is he dead or is he still alive? He's still alive, but he is looking not great. One more similar attack to that would likely take him out. I will use an anti-magic strike at first level. Sending a sage of oh, magic slaying tower. So five more damage. All right. Then... I will go and do a normal attack. Natural 20. Natural 20 does hit. Oh, only one extra damage? That sucks. Well, 12 slashing damage. 12 slashing damage plus 11 and 5. You do see <clears throat> that when you smash into him, your magic slaying damage almost buffs into his own. It's almost as if it became inert, and then just slash went through. Something about him was off, but you do manage to cut him down to ribbons. So whatever he was, well, that really doesn't matter anymore. Oops, uh, like that's not dead. I like to do an intimidation check, and I will take my uh, my blade of sin and point it to everyone and uh, in front of me and tell them, Come and bring it if you think you're hard enough. Ah, uh, man, that does sound cool, but they literally enter into a war zone prepared to die. Uh, it'll be a tough roll, but go ahead and roll intimidation. Come on, natural 20. Uh, you do see that some of them do seem to be skittish. A few do back up an inch, but the team's morale is high enough that they do stand their ground. Alright, um, let me see. I use my bonus action, my action, and my extra attack. Show I am about done. In my turn. Bartholomew. Alrighty, well, uh, second verse, same as the first. I'm a squishy man, so front lines isn't really my thing. So, yeah, I'm just gonna reload the catapult, fire it at the centipede again, uh, because 98 legs is almost 100, and like I said, that is wrong. So, that was athletics plus five, right? Correct. All right. So, that. 17. 17 does hit, but as you saw Kelmore do it, 
um, Asher then thinks, Hey, do you mind launching me over there? To the giant centipede? Sure. The giant yeah. centipede. Sure, yeah. Hop on. He latches onto the rock and immediately you just launch him extremely far away. Luckily enough, it's and, within range of the catapult. And that was 2d20s worth of damage? Yes, the damage still hits. Uh, thankfully enough, the centipede's AC is 17. Unfortunately, I'm rolling crap on every other die I roll, apparently. Wow, so I have a 50-50 shot of hitting him. Actually, uh... 45-45, uh, because... You don't count zero. You don't. And Aster will make an acrobatics check to not take damage or take all of it. Well, it's only eight, so... I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, either way, I'm sure. <laughs> Anything else? The catapults don't have like a base damage. Uh, they could. I mean, if you want to roll the base, the base damage is twelve. I don't know. I just curious. Uh, the catapults are, uh, air quotes, homebrewed. So I gave them what seemed to be a good base as well as a good potential yeah. damage. They're too balanced. I hate them. Seems good to me. Why can't they be game breaky? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Bartholomew, your luck is enough to hit the thing, but not enough to really damage it well. I know, right? <laughs> uh, you and the woman next to you begin to contemplate on your next strike. Lamb. Um, okay, well, uh... <clears throat> Can I use my action or whatever to help them load and fire this thing? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm going to do that. All right. Uh, the unicorn man does look towards you. All right, thank you for the help. Luckily enough, there's now three of us, so we can take aim whenever we choose to. And it doesn't take forever. Uh, the man that whipped you then states, where exactly do you want to hit? From what we can tell, the main area around the gray goliath he seems to be the most dangerous and potent he himself seems to be a towering force that inspires the rest of his men um let's shoot this guy here he's the closest one shoot him all right doesn't really matter closest at this point but he's not he's the closest big guy like to this catapult he's trying to shoot the big guy Although, well, everyone's been, you've been, you've been shooting this one, right? The centipede, yeah. Um, well, we should mind the asters right there, so if you roll on that one, it might hit him. Oh, well. <clears throat> um, I, we should all focus fire, so we should shoot that together. I'll shoot that. If I saw them shoot it, I'll shoot as well. The centipede? Yep. Alright, uh, because you figured it out, or because I just told you, uh, <laughs> Go ahead and roll, uh, DC to beat, I see to beat, uh, 17. Athletics okay. with a plus five. Athletics plus five. Bloody. So I have a, oh, I have to do a plus seven. So I just roll my athletics. All right, that does hit. And unfortunately, oh. <laughs> Aster is now on the centipede. So he's going to take damage because you hit. Go ahead oh, and roll do okay. 2d20. <clears throat> Double net 20. Can you imagine? <laughs> Nine, well, 10, he rolled 10. high on... He rolled more on one die than I did with four. You smash into the centipede and Aster does... Uh, There's still base damage. So that's just that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's still pretty good base damage. Yeah, still good base damage. Justice. Seven. Uh, luckily enough, he can reduce it down to half. So the centipede does look battle-worn, maybe bloodied. Uh, who knows? Maybe Shade is not Shade. <laughs> maybe Bartholomew is doing a lot more damage than he originally thought, or maybe landed a lot more damage. I got that. That was mostly me, though. I mean, you did some damage too, but that was mostly me, though. <laughs> but okay. it's still not dead. Um. So, uh, 
Can I tell them to keep like firing? Like, uh, I want to help them again if I can. But if not, I want to. I want to start moving. If you have more than one attack, you can reload it. Yeah. Yeah. I will reload it. Okay. Um, reloading it would be your secondary attack. However, okay. if you decide to launch it, that would eat up your bonus action. Um. I'll uh, reload it and tell them to fire again. Keep firing at the centipede. Then when when it's dead, uh, to switch targets, uh, following targets that uh, you know it's a Bartholomew shooting at, and then uh, <clears throat> I will uh, head out because I want to move up and use my own abilities. Again, all those things are firing. Will they be okay without me? They will. They'll just take an extra turn to load up the thing. But they are loaded now, right? They're loaded now, so the next time they do it, they can just immediately shoot. Yeah, so they're... I did, I did, I helped a little bit, but now I gotta move up. So I'm gonna move up, and... I give them 35 feet up here, and then I'll misty step uh, across 30 feet to there. So it's like right about there. And then I can move it in 5 feet. Uh... Far away. 100 feet. Okay. And those are all bad guys there, right? A lot of bad yes. guys are there. Uh, everyone that is a good guy is marked with blue. Uh, each of them have blue armbands to make it simpler and more canonically uh, making sense. Yeah. I'd like to go work and be closer with Shade. I want Shade to be by himself. I'm um, almost right <clears> next to him. Well, I wouldn't want either of you guys to be alone, or even with just both of you without me as well, just like a help anyway. But, uh, so, did I use my, I, I used my action fire, I did, I used my action, I moved, I used my bonus action, um, yeah, so, I really can't do anything else anyway, mm. really. Lillian. <clears throat> as much as I'd like to. Paladin, right? He's no longer next to you. Where, you know, he's a Paladin, right? Yep. So okay, the, I said, let's, let's go. Uh, 70 feet. Let's go. Use your, uh, use your action to fire it. It's reloaded. Use your action to fire it. So, fire what? the catapult at the... You can still fire I me mean, if you want to. You can fire the catapult. I reloaded it before I left. Can I use my um, haste action to fire the catapult? If yeah. You want, right. It eats right. up an action. Uh, basically, one loads it, another one takes aim, and the next one fires. Okay, I'll fire, and then I can use. I can dash with my main action. Maybe All right, later. uh, go Maybe ahead. I can uh, move. You uh, see 70 feet from me? Yes. Go ahead and roll athletics with a plus five. Wait, um, okay. Nice. That does hit the centipede wait, and... Wait, wait. Wait, there's more to that. Hang on. And your add bus. a six. And then Ten. add this. So, you hit it. You already nine, hit it. Again. Okay. I mean, a hit's a hit. I mean, I know, but I want it to be more awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, the best hit. Let's see. Da, 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 da. The rock launches into the air and it does shoot straight down. Uh, it breaks apart and it almost turns into a spike because that's the only way you can make it cooler. It sinks in, but unfortunately, Aster is still in the area. Uh, Lillian, go ahead and do roll 2d20. Plus his seven. He's fine. He's just taking half damage of whatever Livian hits with. Sixteen. The creature doesn't look great. Another attack or two similar to this will likely take it down. Livian, it's still your turn. Haste doubles your movement speed, right? You. 
I think, walking speed. Yeah. So, yeah. As far as I remember, yes. Oh, so, can you move me 60 closer? Because I can't get that stupid measure. Uh, sure. There. Actually, wait, it's, it's 50. Never mind, 50. 50. Uh, 50. You would have to roll acrobatics if it's 50. Well, anything beyond 25, you'll have to roll acrobatics. Um, you gotta get over it. Trench! Unless you're flying. Can I just yeah, fly? You have, you oh, yeah, you're nice. Uh, you're there. And your misty set. I use, my, I use the misty set. <clears throat> you're like, actually five feet closer. Okay, now I still have my action, right? You ate up your action. No, wait. Yeah, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Who, who needs shot with, with flying? Where's the closest bad guy? The closest bad guy would still be the same guy you attacked. You just got closer to him. Uh, where is he on the map? There? Yes. Oh, he's, he, oh cool. He's within. He's not, not within long range anymore. Do they both hit? They both do hit. I mean, you strike straight towards him, you do see that he is worn and he is beat. So you strike once, and it does seem that he's almost at death's door. And you strike twice, you burn his body down to the ground, and he does convulse and then not move anymore. You assume the man is dead as he is not getting back up. Alright, that's my action, that's my whole thing. Alright, shade. Uh, quick question first. He said it's like foggy and stuff, and Star was having a shoot with her light stuff. Is it dark enough for me to use my shadow step, or is it too bright out? It is considered low light right now, which is... Okay, yeah. Dim dim light is uh, sufficient Enough. for my shadow step. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, so I am going to move... Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25... 40, 45, 50, 55, and, oh, okay, I'm going to throw a dart at the big giant, uh, the Goliath guy, uh, with a poison of paralysis on it, uh, I assume a 16 misses? A 16, unfortunately, does miss. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Try are you, the exact are you same thing get, are you blessed? Oh, wait, you're not blessed. No, I'm not blessed. I'm going to try the same thing. He cannot be blessed. He resists <laughs> the love of... That's even uh, lower. That's there. wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, let's see, I've moved... I moved, I attacked. Um, then I'm going to use bonus action Shadow Step to move 60 feet back. As you move 60 feet back, you see Blink is kind of where you were, so you take a five foot step. Hmm. So. Uh, hey, didn't expect you to see. See you here? Yeah. <laughs> I like the dark. Uh. Okay. She doesn't know what that means. Wondering if you're now evil. But. <laughs> not concerning at the moment. In a fight. You see, the were rat was going to aim straight towards you, <laughs> but you moved, thankfully enough, and you're no longer within range. It aims, mm. strikes, hits this one. Yes, does hit her. And the woman next to him does strike as well hits her, and the man casts what appears to be a small firing bolt, and misses. Next to Calmore, the strange man with the dark energy is now dead. The goblin aims straight towards you. He does have a plus eight. Does miss. The were-rat has a plus five. Does uh, does 20 hit? No. Nice! Uh, you see him shoot out what appear to be almost quill-like things at you, and you just dodge out of that. Kill him one. 
I look over to Blake and I give her a. I raise my sword up, which is on fire, and I say, Hey, Blake, how's it Oh, uh, Kelmore. Fine? I use my free action to armor up. Now I'm, not, I'm using my final complex property to activate my armor effects. And I will use my action to use the uh, Whirlwind Strike. within 40 feet from my position. So I'll do it to the goblin and this thing over here. So that's two, uh, three, four, five. So these right here. All right. So I take it at 25 hits. 25 does hit. 44, 4. 44 force. Let's see if any of them are. No, 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 and nope. Alright! 15 for the rat looking thing. Does hit. 38 force. Alright. Jeez. 22 Does to hit. The... I was gonna say the dude with dreadlocks. Uh, that's a woman. Sorry, it, it, with the way it zoomed, it looks I, like I understand, it's a big map. 25 for the reptile looking thing. Does it? That's next. 35 for us. Hmm? That definitely looks like a woman from 110%, but I'm assuming you're zoomed out more. Uh, because I have bountiful luck. Oh, wow. I get the <laughs> roll. I probably would. <laughs> How did you roll three net twenties out of four dice? Wait, wait, you have bountiful luck? Or not ones? It's what I got from the Sphinx. You got it from what? Sphinx from the Trial of Time. Oh. Some people got different things, mainly because they did it <laughs> on different times. Thirty-four force damage to the woman in the gray hair. All right. Bountiful, bountiful luck that you do it to other people, then not yourself. No, I'm pretty sure Bountiful Luck only does it to me. Bountiful Luck lets you share your halfling ability. Uh, specifically, I did tell him, uh, from what I remember, that you're able to target yourself. Oh. Because it wasn't an. Because uh, Bountiful Luck has the halfling restriction. Yeah, I know. That's because it's technically supposed to be for. You can share your, um, your ability real ones with your party. I'm actually working on getting in on the character. Well, it's supposed to be just for me, and I'll yeah, have to rewrite that. Yeah, that's the alteration for it. I apologize, I'll rewrite that. I just remembered it was supposed to be for me. Yep. Um, so 34 force damage on the woman in gray. You grab your blade and swing around, almost like... Uh, I don't want to use this term, but I'm going to use it anyways. Like Link swinging his sword around his enemies. You slash through the goblin, through the were-rat, through the cobalt-looking thing. Uh, through the humanoid woman and then through the other humanoid woman slashing through With the whirlwind around you it pierces in and they all fall to the ground and then moments later they fall to the ground by kind of sloshing can since most of them only had 30 health So who is alive? Uh, no Even the woman is dead? Yes. Uh, then I guess I'll just move forward to this guy in the red hair and the green cloak. Let's see. I can't use my extra attack. Uh, I armored up. Oh no, actually I did do an extra attack. Uh, because of my arm part. I'll get two extra damage. So I will just do a regular melee attack through the use of my armor's arm beat. 
Does this, does this guy have any magic on him? Uh, the woman herself was casting something. So she does. Uh, the person right in front of me. She was casting something, yes. Oh, that's... I thought that was a guy. I didn't... I wasn't zoomed in enough. You have to zoom really in for that one. 11 slashing damage. Uh, that's not enough to kill her. But 16 is enough to hit her. Amy uh, Street torture. You slash in, but she does just look hurt. Not enough to die, but she doesn't look happy. Natural 20. Uh, this might do it. Why did I get so low? I don't know. Ask where I thought of you. Mm -hmm. Four, uh, 16 slashing damage. Oh, my fault. No, but you may be able to figure it out since you have more experience with this. It's not my fault you're not sneaky and deceptive. <laughs> Aiming straight towards the woman you slash in, but unfortunately... The second strike is swift, swift, clean, and she can't doesn't have this time to block it. But with your movement being so precise, you basically came in with the surgical like precision. I'm stupid. I forgot to roll my new portents. I wonder what I do. This twelve. Oh well, good. All right. Um. Ah, so dumb. I Sorry about that. In this is for that. My. Of course, now I roll good. <laughs> Alright, uh, Bartholomew, you're on this side, so you're probably the only one that sees this. Uh, as you begin to load up, uh, well, you can decide if you load up or not. I am, yeah. Unless we start getting much closer, I'm probably not going to be of much use. Okay. Uh, then, as you begin to load up the catapult, you do see Star casting something in the corner. Um, she's actually been casting it for a while. Uh, she gets up towards you, and then states, uh, Hey, Bartholomew, you like fighting, right? I mean, kind of. How would you like not to be hit or take any damage for, like, say, six, six turns? That would be pretty good, I guess. Great. Because here's the thing. I can't exactly cast this on myself, but I can give you resistance and immunity to everything for about that much time. And everyone else already ran. I was going to give this to Land, but he's too far away now. Well, all right, I could convince some people to POW themselves over here. Oh, I, I thought you were going to... Uh, uh, what was I going to do? Uh, <laughs> roll insight to determine what she's trying to get you to do. She's going to, like... Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can easily discern that uh, if you said yes, Star was going to cast a little, a little homebrewed spell she whipped up. Basically, for six rounds, you are immune to anything and everything and you can just easily get through any of the area. If you decide to take an attack on anything, um, they at that point can attack you because you're weakening the spell, but they would have disadvantage and their damage would be reduced to half. If you don't do anything against the enemy, they will, could, could attack you, but it would not do any damage. If you wanted to do it to what you, spell is that? it's a homebrew spell. At what level? You don't know. Nah, would uh, is that exclusively attacking? Because Matt's suggestion is not a attack. Specifically, the wording she has is attacking. Matt's suggestion would not break that. No uh, one. Which is why she was trying to get you to do something. Uh, Lan was her other alternative. Alternative because everyone else seems to be more. Hey, let's go kill things. Not uh, well. That's not exactly the wording she would put. Um, but if you tried to get others here, she would just do something else, honestly. So she's just trying to get you into combat and see what happens. I mean, that would just lessen their numbers by POWing them into cages, is what I was planning on doing. Yeah, honestly, she just wants to see what you would do in a fight. That's now, see, here's the thing I don't... Do. 
fight very well unless they're they happen to be in a straight line or something. Hmm. Or in a real or in a twenty foot radius uh, circle. But besides Look, that, character isn't going to be able to get hurt, so it'll be fun. Just stay. I mean, I can still yeah, pass it on you anyways. Danger. If you want it. Again, it's a touch spell. I can't use it on myself. I mean, I'd love to not get hurt. It's just that I can't see, like, much of a use for it aside from the whole mass suggestion and getting people in here into this area or eye-biting them and doing the same thing. I guess that's fair. You hear her mumble something? Um, do you have a passive of, like, 18? Uh, perception? No. Uh, then you don't hear what she says, but she does clasp you on the shoulder and goes, Oh, well, whatever. If I do something else now, the spell will get eaten anyway. So you have six rounds to not die. Oh, so she does cast it on me? Uh, if she decides to let the spell go, the spell gets eaten. So... It doesn't matter. Okay. But currently, you are immune to anything. If you decide to attack anything, the immunity is weakened, but not removed. Does that include if the catapult attacks something? No, because you're lifting a rock up. That's true. All I'm, that's all I'm technically doing. You know, it's a catapult, really. This spell has specific wordings to break it. Aw, you do know me. Speaking of uh, figuring things out to break, are there any like spellcasters in the immediate area, specifically ones that might use vocal components? Um, yes. You see someone currently casting something uh, similar in garb to the woman that you uh, faced against in the mountain range. Mm -hmm. The woman surrounded by familiars. Uh, there's a couple of them, if I'm going to be honest. One to the far left corner next to the stone giant. One to the far right corner, next to the other stone giant. Uh, immediately around that area is what you see. Another one, and this is the primary one, is the giant gray goliath. It's like casting things? You can tell it is a mumbling something in a strange language. It's far that you could still perceive it because it's so big. But it's saying something in a strange language, but it's not common. Uh, would that language happen to be Elvish or Infernal? Mm, if it was, you'd be too far away to hear it. That's fair enough. Yeah, I was actually going to say, like, also can I hear, but, you know. Uh, hmm. Because I was going to cast Silence on a rock, and... That is the point of where the silence is starting, so if it flies, it goes with it, with your permission, of course. So where it lands is where the silence is. It is within range, and I like the idea, so approved. Alright, so gonna yeah, gonna I'm gonna... Today. Exactly. So yeah. Either way, I'm gonna cast silence. So, shut the hell up, big giant man, assuming this hits. You cast silence in the rock, and uh, Sarge just watches you as you work. Alright. And that would be a 16. Let's see, 16. I mean, it would still land in the general vicinity, I would imagine. It still lands within the general vicinity, but it's, like, not directly on it. You don't... So it probably wouldn't hit it, but, you know. You don't, unfortunately, The idea hit still it, works. But the idea is still solid, so it takes no damage. But it still gets rebuffed. Let's see here. So yeah, vocal components are screwed, I believe. So the but, rock uh, keep in mind ten feet in front of him. Oops. Keep in mind, Lillian, if you want to go attack that thing, it's immune to thunder damage because thunder is a sound. So use your lightning launcher. Yeah. Although it's way in the back, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, what's the range of the silence spell? 20 radius. 20 foot radius centered on a point you choose. The point was the rock. Right. 
right? You should be able to see it now. Yep, within range. Uh, probably a little closer, if I'm gonna be honest. Anything else, Bartholomew? Uh, no. That'll be all, I think. Yeah, that'll be all. Alright. Land. Alright, well, I'm lazy, dude. Black. Black. Exposed. A little too close. Okay, well. Uh. Yeah, I was even. So, okay, I'm gonna. That's a ham. Um. Hmm. Um. I think we should all be working together, so I would try and move towards where everybody's at. Alright. Uh, Aster is currently still fighting the giant thing. Ooh. The giant thing is almost near that store. Luckily enough, he does have two companions next to him. So this what is, uh, is probably taken care of. You want to go for something else? What? Uh, are, do you look like my friends are having a hard time killing these guys over here? Uh, your companions seem to be doing just fine for now. The only one that's currently having an issue is the woman to your left. Other than that, everyone for now is doing fine. What are these guys doing here? They didn't do anything? They're just sitting there? Uh, currently, she's casting something. If you had to imagine, she is calling for more creatures to summon. That. That. Oh, casting something? She is. Well. Forty feet for her. I think if I forty feet, I move my forty feet up right here, and then I'll use my other misty step to misty step uh, <laughs> right uh, to here. Here's that. Two. So that's my bonus action. And all my movement. Right there. Alright. And I will. Uh, she's. So she's casting a spire now? Uh, yes. So if I hit her with a melee, would that disrupt that? Or. Uh, if she loses her concentration, it will. Okay. So, if I do that and then she loses her concentration and she casts it, do I still get a chance to counterspell it then? Uh, yeah, I suppose you could. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna melee her twice. Alright. Do that. Uh... Still blessed, so flame blade twice. Uh, starting with green flame blade. <laughs> oh my god, one of them is a critical. So neat. I think you know, I think you know exactly what's gonna happen right now. Uh, we so, don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. So the, I use uh, cast the cantrip. And uh, cast the cantrip, green flame blade did seven damage to. Uh, her when I hit her with the first attack. Then I that was the crit. I don't know if the second one hit, but I'm guessing it did. It did. But the first one I'm definitely gonna smite. And I'm gonna use a level four smite, so that I think is ten D eight, I think. Actually ten D eight, yeah. So I will just roll a ten D eight. Alright. Alright. I will say that the summoners are a little healthier, but with the smite. Yeah, so I did all that damage. Sorry, Drew. Okay, so on one hit, on one hit to her though, I did uh, ten, and like uh, the three d six, like these secondary, like those, those are actually like real damage, just like the extra. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
There's a bunch. Yeah. But anyway, so 10, 40, 40, uh, 31, 70. So she has to make a DC 35 uh, con save. Keep that spell going. <laughs> Uh, well, let, for fun, let's see what it is. I'm not going to show modifiers. Uh, that's a five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so enough about five. You slash in, then you slash again with a quick, swift wind. It then casts a strange light around it, and it just burrows in and casts your cells to divide and break apart. She had 60 points of health, but not anymore. She loses concentration. Guy. And she's unconscious. <laughs> no, she's dead. Yeah, dead. Well, dead. Comes. That works too. Let's see. She loses concentration, so her secondary spell does not trigger. But there's still a spellcaster in the area, so these hounds remain. Okay. Um. The the secondary attack, I guess, would hit the. Um, so, did uh, 9 plus 3d6, so did 19 damage to the just this one, I guess. Nice. You aim straight for another she was already down. To make I didn't dab her again. Then I race away. Fuck okay. <laughs> it. <laughs> you slash into the hound, and this one disappears. That it is a summon, and it only has so much health. Thankfully. Okay. I'm done with that. At the end of your turn, you do see the hounds come around you and begin to surround you. Let's see here, they have a plus six to their bite attack. It's ten, and that's a twenty-one. Oh, neat. To hit me? Yes. Um, yeah, I'll let him hit. All right, that is one d six plus three. Uh, so that's nine slashing damage. Okay, it takes 20 cold damage as it bites. As it bites into you, a freezing sensation goes up its mouth, and then it burrows into its entire flesh. Then it falls down to the ground dead as an icicle. Uh, the body yeah, I still have disappears once the ice thaws. Yeah, so I just let him bite me. I like, I, he like see him coming, and I just smile. And, I just put my arm on and just like clamps down. I just see like the armor just like bites back, it's, like crunches his head off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Not that dog's lucky day. Lillian. Take him to the permanent pound, Lan. <sighs> I think yeah, I think you should get inspiration for that. Would it Lan go? Away again. Yeah, Up to your right. I, Land's like, come on. It's not my turn, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm gonna think you're too far away. Forever. Zoom out far up and still see what's going on. Uh, he's yes. 75 feet away from you. Where's yeah. the silence effect? Where's the what? The silence effect. Uh, it's on uh, the big away. Goliath. Uh, I think it's a woman. Big Goliath lady. Actually, Way that far away. Man. That is a man? Uh, he just has okay. beautiful okay. Locks of yeah it's the locks that got me I, you know what I mean with what creatures like that too it's hard to tell so fair um from land he is 75 feet away so 60 feet wouldn't be enough yep. to get uh, how did you get, how did you move 75 feet again uh I use my 40 feet of movement in a misty step spell if you go 60 feet to him, had, um, you'd be 15 feet away from him. I, I, I have two, three misty steps have, I, a day. I move 50 Dude. feet, and then... Are you moving again next round? Not that far. I'm going to be moving a little bit, but uh, just probably to help either help... Either, depending on what happens, they're going to help them, or I'm going to move over and take out this this dude over here. Um, so how many feet? Robo 50? 40. I'll be moving okay. 40 feet up to the left, or probably like 30 feet to the right. So, I'm That's going to, um... So the Goliath lady's still a threat, right? Uh, 
by their bolsterous form, they're still a threat, but whatever they were casting is now gone. I'm gonna yeah, you corrected that it was a man, but everyone still thinks it's a woman. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna attack the lightning launcher at her three times. Uh that would be at disadvantage. Why? They are one hundred and thirty five feet away unless you can make that range, which is possible. That's you can move move first, move first. I move. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I, I said so you can move, move fifty. Uh, yeah, that would be 85 feet from that point, so yeah. I, either way, it's a 30. Oh, uh, you wish it was at advantage now, huh? I wish I had advantage, yeah. So let's see, that's fair. Does it, I'm shooting you 27 hits. 27 hits, 30 hits, uh, 21 does not. Fairy fire. Fairy fire. What? Fire. what? Wait, it says fairy fire on it? I said you should fairy fire it, but it's too far away. That loses my haste, dude. That's true, I forgot your haste, dude. Okay, guidance for that. So, does a 23 hit? 23 does hit. Alright, then there's my last attack. You're blessed by the Thunder. <laughs> or Kill Cyrus. So, the Thunder, I don't know. I don't know if so that's going to take me. 36 and 36 plus damage. 5. That's 5 is for the crit. Oh, okay. Yeah. All she really can't do, at least just standing there, is use vocal components, so she's still very much a threat. So, thankfully, you shot her with lightning, so hopefully she Burning forgets what I did and attacks attack. you now. He! What the fuck? <laughs> I was about to correct you. He does seem angry and pissed. He, however, once the electricity entered into the area, he was able to discern that sound is no longer transmittable. So now they're going into a direct approach which is less of a threat than what they were doing but now <laughs> they're coming well, it's a into good the thing i shut them up then anything else lillian okay so so you move i still have my bonus action i believe so i do have my bonus action check my spell work Let's see. Is that a border attack spell? Nope. Oh, wait. That's not bonus action, anyway. Uh, freaking. Come back to me. I need to look at my spells again. Uh, sure. Shade. Okay, so I think I should probably keep going for the big person, so uh, I'm going to move 55 feet forward and I'm gonna try the dart with potion, uh, poison of paralysis on it again. See how that goes. Okay. Uh, crit. That does hit, but once you got into the area, go ahead and roll for me a strength saving throw. Okay. I'm assuming that's not mine. Only a six. You did it. You did it. Okay, uh, here's what happens. Because they were no longer actually, um, what's the word, concentrating on their spell, mm -hmm. they had their actions and their legendary actions still available to them. Cool. Oh, yeah, I need to make a contest. So when you entered in close enough to attack, Who's uh, making a con save? Land. I'm good. Land's fine. You see them just hit the ground, make no noise due to the area, and then a pillar next to you just slashes in. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. brace yourself, but unfortunately it's not enough 
to not take some damage. You know, not being able to hear it, you know, it's kind of detriment. So. But that's only 3d6 plus 5. You're welcome, Dillweed! <laughs> uh, luckily enough, I rolled below, so it's 9 points of damage. <laughs> okay, so I still have 7 temp hit points. And then, as it did that, it was distracted enough that you just shoot in a dart straight into their neck. And they must now make a con save of, I believe, 13? I think so. We're going to pull it up right here. Uh, 15. Cool. While their con is good, it is not exactly the best thing in the world. Yeah, it's a long shot. But, strange. Yeah, they made it. Damn. Hey, how many Misty Steps did we get? Uh, most of you got three. Alright. Um, I'm going to... 15 feet away, right? So I can't use my whip. So I will just chuck another dart. With another poison of paralysis, why not? <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't eaten out of this. Unfortunately, that does miss. Yeah. All right, and then uh, bonus action going to oh, shadow weird. step. You've been brewing those things like on the road or something, man. Come no, I just haven't thing. used very many of them. Yeah. For a while, Shade stopped using them mainly because they didn't want to run out. And I'm just gonna teleport 55 feet back to where I was. Cool. Um, yeah, I have. I have two doses of the poison of paralysis left. Ah. I've, I've gone. I've used four in this fight so far. So. Come on, on your turn, you do see that the two companions that you helped out went over to the last remaining summoner in the area. Unfortunately, her companion didn't make it, but cast did, and she was able to take down the summoner's familiars and herself. But unfortunately, she did lose a companion. I give cast salute. Alright. First, I will attack Black Flame Blade against the person. 23, does that hit? 23 does hit. Alright, my extra attack. Alright. Uh, if you want, you can say you didn't extra attack, because that first one was enough to take her down. Oh, well then, I didn't use my extra attack yet. Okay, cool. Aiming straight towards her, because you've damaged her beforehand, you slash in, and you bury it swiftly inside her chest. She goes down, and she goes down hard. I turn towards Blake, and I ask her, Do you got the other two? Uh, what are the two? Uh, these guys? Uh, looking towards the were rat and the man. If so, yeah, I got them easily. The guy that looks like he's covered in black something up here. I mean, is... if you want. Uh, she just slashes down the were rat. No, I was talking to the I DM. think he was asking as a player. Yes, I was asking the DM. Oh, this well, person we... right here. Uh, yes, what about uh, are, are they, uh... Are they still alive? Are they running? Are oh, they... they're still alive. Uh, right now, they're like talking to their sword for some reason. It's hard to discern why. They just look so like a crazy up. person. So I'll go up right up to them, taking out shelter and doing an extra attack. Okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> you're going to have to clash. So go ahead and roll your attack. 24 hit. We'll find out. <laughs> Your modifier is better by a one. <laughs> ah! Slashing straight towards you, he does strike to you, at you, when you strike at him. However, you're fast enough that you put his blade to the side and slash in. Eleven slashing damage. All right. As you slash him. Shade, Kelmore, Lillian, Lan. Uh, unfortunately, Bartholomew doesn't count. I don't believe he has one. Wait, they see me? 
No, 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 no. Yes. I'm just telling you what's happening. The people that I named, I'm except for Bartholomew, you. <laughs> all feel uh -huh. a pulse. You do not know where it's coming from. But Kelmore, you can discern that pulse hit your stomach the exact moment your blade hit this man. Jelter, is this person carrying a, a blade of sin or virtue? It's possible. Although I can't really discern it. Uh, you look at his weapon and the blade does seem to be similar to your own. Uh, similar to lands and similar to shades, but it seems to be... In the best way I could discern it, modified, but not exactly towards the blade itself. It just has like ornamental decoration around it that would make it indistinct to another blade. It's possible, my... but uh, right now there is no connection. I will use my bonus action that I get from my armor to do a special bonus action to do an athletic check against his athletic check to knock his weapon 15 feet away if he fails him. All right, and this, let's look at his character sheet. Still in the same procession as clashing. All right, luckily enough, your modifier is still better by one, but whatever. 18. I will use my uh, my luck point that I have from Fortune's to roll again. Damn it! Why is it always failed with this thing? All right. Yeah, with a plus um, nine, you think you'd roll better? I know. I have a total of 20 of strength, too. It sucks. Let's Slashing in, in you bar blades. You feel he pushes yours back, and when he does that, you feel all of you that carry shards of sin. I'm just going to explain it that way, because it's easier to not name you. Feel a pulse. And this one is stronger. Chalter, I'm thinking this person might be related to blade of sins and virtues. It might be even a new sin. Probably not. Not sure. Either way, he's in the way. Indeed. And he must die for it. Anything else, come on? Uh, no, that's really all I can do. I am a turn. Alright, uh, we're probably gonna end with Bartholomew's turn. No offense, man. Oh, Oh. No pressure. Hmm. Well, the spellcasters are dead, so I mean, it's it's just gonna be another boring old thing for me. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna fire at the man who we've been confusing with a woman, and just because you know that sounds like a smart idea. He does have great hair, and you're completely jealous about it. So you aim towards that hair. Let's take some off the top. I went a little bit too high on that one, apparently. You shoot a rock straight towards him, and it lands, like, where the sex is. Not even close. Yay. Well, thankfully, I didn't cast any important spells on that, so. Yeah. Here. Although I do have a neat way to, now that the president's been set, I have a good way to do that. Yeah. So I could figure out something else to do. Anything else? Uh, nah, that'll be it, unfortunately, and I guess that's it for the session. Uh, yes, but as you end your turn, you do see that the man uh, with the great hair, they're not exactly completely smart. They are wise, though. But uh, I'm going to use intelligence to discern this. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so, uh, they have a nat uh, minus two to their intelligence. But with a natural 20, is a natural 20. He grabs yeah, the rock. Yeah, no, that's fine. And let's see. 
Bartholomew, you're one. Lan, you're two. Lillian is three. Shade is four. Oh, this is, is five. This. And six is something else. Come on, not one. Come on, not one. Re -roll. Not three. Oh. Not three. One. Oh, what? <laughs> you said something else. You didn't say you re-rolled. Yeah. <laughs> Something else was V-roll. Surprise. Damn it! <laughs> they pick up the rock and they just chuck it straight at you. I'm uh, far away, I don't know if that can <laughs> probably go. They will have disadvantage because it's at least over a hundred feet away. Well they're 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 large. Are they having trouble picking up the tiny little rock? I mean no. let's be real here, I was probably flipping them off as I <laughs> shot the rock at them at him. It's not enough to hit you, but it's enough to hit the catapult next to you. And that is 2d20. You're how was damage it? anyways, Bartholomew. How was that? How was a little rock damage that much on a catapult? It hits it just right. It's just, uh, yeah. It burrows in straight to the catapult and breaks it down. Bartholomew is without a weapon. Lan and Lillian are currently on the battle zone. Uh, Lan just took out a summoner, and Lillian has an eye on a stone giant. If you don't, I'm just making it up. Shade with Blake at his side are aiming straight towards the Grey Goliath creature. And Kelmore... Well, Kelmore found himself in a particularly interesting state. I honestly thought Shade was going to get here, but to my surprise, someone else got here first. What happens next? Well, we'll just have to find out next time as we end the session for today. <laughs>